Tuesday the 4th of April 2022, a warm welcome to the channel. Yesterday I did a video about BYD cars, the Chinese electronic vehicles, and why do they keep exploding? There was one comment, they said, why don't you mention Tesla cars, because they have the same problem. And I thought, it's a valid point. I sound very prejudiced against China. Maybe I am, or the Chinese products. So these are some of the videos that I did show yesterday. If any um, charging stations in this country. So I'm going to be a petrol head and still use the gasoline car. So with that comment in mind, thank you so much for that. That's really helpful. I thought I'd put a compilation of just Tesla cars exploding, their batteries exploding. As Detour Dan would say, that's a barbecue. For sure. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow. We put so much heat in these fucking streets that the car caught on fire in front of us. We hope everybody's safe out there. So here's a question for you. I do have a car. It's a normal petrol car. I've had it for a number of years. Everything is fine. I do the regular service. Yes, it's not good for the environment. Uh, here in this country, EV cars are not a popular thing, but they are in other countries. So why would you buy something that has a possibility of blowing up or spontaneously con busting or implode or explode related to the batteries, regardless if it's a Tesla or regardless if it is a BYD made in China. Surely, if this happens so often, why are they on the market? Why are they allowed on the market? And these are all questions that does concern me, that you see these videos and you see them quite often. You just go into Twitter, type in Tesla explosion, go to Twitter, type in BYD, the Chinese car explosion, and you will see lots of videos like this. Why do these batteries do this? And I'm not a elect electronic engineer any way, shape or form, and I just don't understand why. And if they do, and it is common, quote, note, if it is common, why would anyone buy? And another point is, why would it be allowed to be sold in that country if it is dangerous with the batteries exploding? Is it the manufacturer's fault? Is it the passenger's, sorry, is it the driver's fault? Is it poor maintenance of the car, etc., etc.? I just don't know. But please do leave a comment in the section below. So with that in mind, 
I came up with today's trivia, which is available now. Given the choice, which car yeah. would you buy? Would it be a Tesla or would it be a BYD? There, let's take a break. Now, a little bit of homework for you. Um, I do have this daily trivia on the community on my YouTube channel. If you want to find it, go to my homepage, hit community, scroll down, and you'll find some daily quizzes. The last one I gave you was, or one of them, uh, what is the main province in China where the Uyghurs live? And 46% of you did get it right. It is in Xinjiang. The day before, I did ask you, what is the what was the capital of Cambodia before Phnom Penh? And 52% did get right. It is 50, sorry, it is Angkor Wat. I think it was 1869 when it changed to Phnom Penh, which is now the capital. Thank you so much for your time. Another video most probably coming out today. How do you know about this video? Just hit the notification button, click all, and the usual courtesy messages of like, subscribe, and share would be fantastic. My name is James. This is the James Neil Cooper Show. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for your time.